hi guys welcome back to another vlog you already know what it is honestly it is the end of the day friday i don't know where my brain is anymore i had like four back-to-back -back long sessions in which i was talking for most of them hence my voice and tonight we are going to a terrace martin concert he is in la and luke and i love terrace martin so we're gonna hang out with a bunch of friends we basically corralled a lot of our friends to go and we're just going to get out there but i just wanted to open up this vlog and kind of check in with you guys see how you're doing i really am enjoying being here on youtube and knowing that this is more of a consistent thing for me now and you know if you're new here and you are just hopping into this channel hello hi i have been here for quite a while and i've just you know been making different vlogs and content you could probably hear it in my voice she needs to rest but i just wanted to open up this vlog and i'm about to go take my dog out for a walk before i get back here get ready for the concert i'll show you what i'm wearing and what we get up to and i'm super super excited so this is the walking fit to be honest i don't even know what i'm wearing i just feel like comfort should be the most comfortable i mean important thing so we're just we're just being comfortable and safe you know uv ray safe and look at her she's so excited to go Kiara, are we gonna go on a walk let's go let's go <laughs> to the concert we got snackage uh -huh. and oh, hey. more snacks more snacks and more snacks and so good so good Z's. Z's. <laughs> we have other stuff down here carrots and hummus who brought this <laughs> It is now Sunday. It's Sunday, like 12.30, and Luke and I are about to leave. We're gonna go to get lunch with one of my friends. And yesterday, just to give a little recap of the Terrace Martin concert. Okay, so Terrace Martin is like hip hop, jazz, R&B, contemporary, multi-talented, multifaceted artist, and like definitely love him, love his music, love the people that were going on but the show started so late it said it was i know that this is this is showtime right this is a showtime industry so it's kind of normal if you guys have never gone to like smaller shows but if you have you know what i'm talking about i just thought that this was only like a lauren hill instance if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about we got there at eight doors open at seven show's supposed to start at eight and the show didn't actually start until 11. i was getting lightheaded my period cramps were starting i was having a hard time breathing because it's like people were smoking in the room and they were smoking like like, you know, they're different, all different kinds of pens and all different kinds of rolled up, rolled up goodies. <laughs> and me and my friends were just like, we didn't eat proper dinner and we just are not feeling well. So we actually dipped out before the official show began. And that was an interesting time, but we made it home. We ate some snacks, we went to bed and Although it would have been really fun for it to be a great show, like the last show that Luke and I went to was a Ravina show. She is another like artist, perfectly executed, perfectly on time. And you know, I love music and I love going to shows. I know that, you know, some artists just make them in this way, but it is very interesting to see the diversity in how they conduct their shows. You know what I mean? So we did go to a Terrace Martin show, but we saw him perform like, who songs? <laughs> anyway, Luke and I, like I said, are gonna go to lunch. This is my outfit. I have this cardigan. I actually made this cardigan a long time ago, um, a couple of years ago when I was in my crochet phase and then I got tired of it, but I feel like making a lot more very soon. It's just kind of like following a recipe, a crochet pattern. And then I have my favorite at the moment long sleeve one piece and I don't have time to do my makeup, so we're just gonna go bare face. And anyway, it is raining. Let me show you guys. It is raining out here in March. For the drive, I'm going to bring with me a hot protein latte. So I use veg protein. And it's just because I am post-workout, but we have to go straight to a lunch. 
so I want to make sure that I get enough of this plant-based protein. Some of you have asked me if it's like hard to digest or if there's any smooth ones that I recommend for you know not very strong or recovering guts and personally I've never had a problem with digesting this veg protein. It's soy free and it's made mostly of pumpkin seed protein, pea protein, and sunflower seed protein. Um, and this one in particular has a full serving of caffeine in it, so I think it'll be perfect for just a little pick-me-up. I did take any pre-workout when I went to the gym for some reason. So, I'm gonna make this, and I discovered, and this was in one of our Philippines vlogs, but Luke and I discovered that if you mix it with hot water, then it ends up tasting like a yummy protein latte, and so that's why I call it a protein latte. I'm raw vegan till 4 p.m. and then I'm raw carnivore till 4 a.m. It's about balance. But you don't mix the two because then you're So what's up there? <laughs> you don't mix the two. You don't mix the two. Wait, you can't. How? What? You you're not, I'm you not a carnivore. I'm not saying. You're mixing the two no. and you're taking it to 4 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, we don't. We're at this little store, it's called Mini So. I'm here with Tessa, we just had lunch at this Vietnamese place. We got some pho, we got some tofu mushroom rolls, we got some salad with some rice. And now we're again in this store called Mini So. Um, we're just getting a few gifts and it's just super cute. It's like all the Sanrio stuff that we grew up with. Sanrio is like a little, it's a brand, it's a store. It is a busy social day for us. <laughs> We're now on our way to one of my niece's birthday parties. She's turning three and got her some stuffed animals because she loves stuffed animals right now. And that's the update. <laughs> These are the stuffed animals we got her. This, I don't even know if this is a brand or something. The mini so brand. It's just a cute, but it's just so cute. There's this super cute. It's, just, it's, it's a stressed out coffee mug thing. <laughs> it's like a heart shaped latte. We just finished up at the little birthday party and it was fun. I mean, this is just what life is like for us because we live really close to a lot of our friends and family. So, you know, on top of doing our own life as an adult, I guess you also have socializing with family. How do you feel after I the event? I feel great. I feel great. I, bumped, I saw friends that I haven't seen in years and just connecting and seeing people like in different chapters of, of their lives now. Not like a couple of them have like kids and stuff. And it's, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. We actually really love skiing. I know that there are some of you who are like, oh my gosh, being around a lot of people drain us, but for context, if any of you guys are into human design, look at our box of generators. So we generators. like, when we like to do something, it just gives us more energy. We do love to see our friends and family and socialize. And if we ever feel like, oh my gosh, I don't think I really want to go. I'm feeling tired, but I'm just going to go and like, you know, be there in my tired energy. When we get there and we see people that we like to chat with and we like to catch up with, um, we just don't feel as tired anymore. Do you agree? Yes. Speaking of socializing, we are now going to, <laughs> we're going to Trader Joe's to get a few snacks. We're gonna have a snack night at home because we ate really like late and big lunch and then we had more snacks over at this party. There weren't a lot of vegan like food options, but it's totally okay because we literally just came from lunch. And now we are going to get the snacks at Trader Joe's. We're gonna drop something off at one of my friend's house. I've had one of her books for a very long time. We were going to hang out today, but ended up canceling plans because she was very tired. It's very also important to honor your own rhythms when you are feeling tired and not wanting to socialize. But this was like, this is a different case. We just felt kind of tired from the week, but wanting to socialize. So we're just gonna drop off that book. I've had it in my library for the last two moves that I've had, like moving homes. And I thought, you know, I might as well just give her the book since we're already in the area. And maybe give her some snacks from Trader Joe's. Then we're gonna make her way home. Happy Sunday for me. <laughs> Probably not Sunday for you when you're watching this, but would be super cool. It is now Sunday. 
and I just finished a group call for my Flourish With Purpose coaching program. We had nine beautiful women in there and we were talking about things like self-sabotage and emotional regulation and living in your purpose and what else were we talking about? It was mostly those things and in these group chats it's super super cool because we get to talk about all kinds of things and they really all do relate back to how we can live in alignment with our purpose. One of the big things that I talked about in that call was feeling behind on some things and feeling like, you know, I'm wasting time or I'm a waste of space because I'm not doing the things that I said I wanted to do. But what I shared was, and this is just a little preview, so if you're interested in Flourish with Purpose, this is some of the stuff that we talk about, but there's way more. If you want more details, link is in the description. Everything is always in the description. But what that avoidance time could have been for you is space and time for you to learn about yourself. So you might not have done all the things that you felt like you wanted to do in that specific time frame, but we did get to learn about ourselves and how we avoid, how we self-sabotage, and whenever we learn more about ourselves, whenever we have an opportunity to learn more about ourselves, actually it's a step forward instead of a step back. So that is just one of the many topics that we chatted over. And last night, we actually didn't go to Trader Joe's. What we ended up doing was we went straight to my friend's house. We hung out a little bit. We caught up for like half an hour to an hour. We made our way over to Sprouts because we wanted some snacks. We got this cereal. We've been getting the cereal a lot. It's the Three Wishes it's made of chickpeas. We had a little cereal night, a little popcorn night, a little Netflix night. We've been watching this Netflix show called Life on our planet. Um, one of our friends introduced it to us and it's just like, you know, I'm a big nerd when it comes to learning about the different extinction periods, learning about how life has evolved, learning about the dinosaurs. I loved dinosaurs when I was younger. So this is just like filling up my cup in such a significant way. And I get to learn a lot too. So we watched that and then Luke and I just went to bed. And again, today we have the Flourish With Purpose call. Luke went grocery shopping for us so that you know, I could just have my call and we could do our resetting today, but Sunday is always a resetting day. And later on, we're gonna go to see my mom. She's hosting a little rosary thing at her house. So I grew up Roman Catholic um, and I don't currently practice Catholicism, even though I like don't mind any of the prayers. Like I understand what they mean now. I did a lot of work outside of the church so I could really understand what they were trying to teach us without all of the dogma and pressure and I mean you know if you grew up Catholic or you're Catholic now and you understand this then you know it's just very common within a lot of religions but my mom is very much practicing and she's hosting a little rosary thing at her house so we're gonna go we're gonna hang out and I will take you along for the rest of Sunday good morning good morning, good morning. what are you doing and what are you doing? Better. <laughs> and um, you were sh <laughs> shocked. <laughs> we're going to go on a walk. Ooh, ooh. Look at how excited she is. She's just waiting for everybody. Kiara, we're gonna go on a walk. Are you ready? I was gonna go by myself, but I just looped everyone to come with me. There's just something about a peaceful park with really beautiful weather <laughs> in springtime. That really feels like true luxury. Look at this, fresh air, greenery, open space, clean floors, sunshine. Okay, Rachel's explaining to me how to use this portable heating pad because I just started my period. So this heating pad proved to be absolutely perfect. I don't know where Rachel got it, but it was amazing. I used it while we were praying um, the rosary. This is something that my mom and dad have been doing with the whole neighborhood for many years. So Luke and I were kind of honestly fumbling through the booklet to make sure we were getting the right prayers down, but it's all good. After that, we had food. It was food time. We always eat after these like rosary get togethers and I had 
this suman that, which was made with rice, which was super delicious. And then my mom and I went to the airport to pick up my dad. He brought home some dried guayabano. It's like a fruit <laughs> from the Philippines. And we made our way home. We waited for him to unpack his suitcase to give us our little souvenirs, which we asked for when he went to the Philippines. And it's just this vegan chicharron and more of the suman. Suman is this sticky, sweet rice dessert. And when we got home, I had to end the night with my favorite yogurt protein bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, what you liked, if you have any questions. I love chatting with you guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you next time in the next video or maybe on Instagram if you go and hit the follow button. Either way, I will see you at some point and I hope you have a wonderful rest of whatever you are doing now. <laughs>